Hello, this is Elliot Schlissel. Today we're going to talk about evidentiary standards in CPS and ACS proceedings. The standards of evidence used in child abuse and child neglect proceedings by Child Protective Services, referred to as CPS, and Administration for Children's Services, which would be referred to as ACS, seek to establish child abuse or child neglect when they bring proceedings in the family court. Family court make decisions based on a preponderance of the evidence. Preponderance of the evidence means the scales of evidence which side has more evidence supporting their position. Many individuals represent themselves in ACS and CPSS proceedings in the family court. Sometimes the only evidence presented is the evidence by the CPS and ACS workers of the allegations of child abuse or child neglect. Opinions of CPS workers, statements made by young children, hearsay statements made by third parties, all can be listened to and considered by a judge in child abuse and child neglect proceedings. Parents tell their life stories and pour their hearts out in these proceedings. They look to the investigators for sympathy. Unfortunately, this is a terrible mistake. You see, the role of a CPS or ACS investigator is to prove that there have been instances of child support or child neglect. They work under the presumption that a child abuse, a child neglect situation has taken place whenever a complaint is made, no matter how frivolous it may initially appear to be. When parents tell them their life story, these investigators extrapolate from the story the evidence that they can use against the parent to support the allegations of child abuse or child neglect. Parents often think they're there to weigh the circumstances involved and come out with a fair and impartial review of what has transpired. That is not the case. The investigator's job is to prove that child support or child neglect exists. Their reports, based on opinions, which very often are not evidence, can be used to convict parents of child abuse and child neglect. If you have an ACS or CPS situation and an investigator comes to your house, you should immediately retain competent legal counsel and not make statements to the investigators until you've met with your lawyer and have been apprised of your rights and thereafter a decision should be made as to whether you're going to cooperate with them or not and usually should ask that your attorney be present for any of these interviews to see that they're done fairly, and to see that you don't make statements that can be used to convict you in a family court proceeding of child abuse of child neglect. This is Elliot Schlissel, signing off for the day.